work. The map to the legendary Zodiac Stone. Okay, let's get a move. In 1976, an 11-year-old group dreams of becoming a superhero, assisted by the minions whom he has hired to work for him. Gru is ecstatic when he receives an audition invitation from the Vicious Six, a supervillain team, now led by Bell Botter, who hoped to find a new member to replace their founder, the supervillain Wild Knuckles, following their betrayal and attempted murder of Knuckles during a test to steal the Zodiac Stone, a stone connected to the Chinese Zodiac. Aha! Yes! The Zodiac Stone! Gru's interview goes poorly but much to the outrage of the Vicious Six. He steals the stone and escapes with minions Kevin, Stuart and Bob, handing it to another minion, Otto, for safekeeping. At his basement lair, Gru is outraged that Otto has traded the Zodiac Stone for a petrol, causing him to fire the minions before going alone to find it. However, Knuckles kidnaps Gru before taking him to San Francisco. Oh, all my dreams are coming true right now! Well, it's about to become your nightmare. Welcome to my newest torture device, the Disco Inferno! Oh, no, 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 no! Uh, and informs the minions that if they do not give him the stone within 48 hours, Gru will be killed. Well, you are never gonna see your little boss again! Failing to locate the stone, Kevin, Stuart, and Bob leave for San Francisco to rescue Gru, while Otto lives in pursuit of a biker whom he realizes has the stone as a necklace. When they reach Knuckles' house, they are chased by his goons until Master Chow, a former Kung Fu teacher who now makes a living at an acupuncture clinic, rescues them by defeating the goons. You like picking on little guys, huh? Go take a nap, old lady! Old lady? Yeah. Get lost! If you come back to our place, you're dead! You can thank me by going away. I'm working. Chao teaches the minions Kung Fu after they beg and ending their training prematurely. Go to Knuckles home to rescue Gru. You want to learn Kung Fu. My teaching days are over. I will teach you. We begin with a basic kick. Now you... This is Fred. He is a dummy. Never underestimate a dummy. No attack! Meanwhile, Otto catches up to and befriends the biker at Death Valley, who gives the stone back and takes him to San Francisco. Gru begins to bond with Nak after the latter goons quit on him, and later saves him from being eaten by crocodiles in his pool. The pool is filled with my pet crocodiles. Let me show you how it's done. Knock it off. Hey! Oh, wow! Oh, no! Perfect! No, no! I ah, gotcha! You could have run. But you, but you didn't. I could not let you get eaten by crocodiles. Teaching Gru how to be a villain. The two rob the bank of evil. In the meantime, the vicious six having realized that Knuckles is alive, destroy his house in an attempt to find it. Failing to do so, they head towards Chinatown with Kevin, Stuart, and Bob in pursuit. Returning to his destroyed house, a distraught Knuckles laments his friend's betrayal and decides to give up villain, sending Gru away. During a Chinese New Year parade in Chinatown, Otto and Gru find each other with the stone but are cornered by the vicious six who in turn are confronted by anti-villain league agents all right we don't have much time we got to get this to wild back long time no see huh? i'll take them anti-villain league you are under arrest whoa 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 everybody did you forget what time it is the vicious six is an use the stone to turn themselves into large superpowered versions of animals from the zodiac and prepared to kill Gru by tying him to the hands of a clock tower to rip him apart. Happy New Year! Fire! Stand your ground! No, 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 no! Enjoy being torn apart! Kevin, Stuart, and Bob find Gru but are turned into a rabbit, a rooster, and a goat, respectively. However, Knuckles returns and fights the vicious six with the minions. Hello, traitors! <gasps> Remember me? Yeah. Leave me for dead! You can destroy everything I own! 
But I will not let you hurt that kid! Yeah, you and what army? Encouraged by Charles teaching, Kevin Stuart and Bob find their inner beast and battle the vicious six while Otto saves group. But Knuckles gets badly burned by Bell's drug flames when trying to take the stomp. After Kevin, Stuart and Bob knock the vicious six out. Gru uses the stone to turn them into rats, congratulating the three minions for saving his life. Gru reconciles and rehires the minions and returns Stuart, Kevin and Bob back to normal. You guys were amazing! Obviously you guys are rehired! The vicious six are arrested except Knuckles who is hospitalized and seemingly succumbs to his injuries. Oh no! Well Knuckles! You're gonna be okay, right? Don't worry about me, kid. I'll be fine. While the stone is confiscated by the anti-villain league. At Knuckles' funeral, Gru gives a heartfelt eulogy, but is overjoyed when it is revealed Knuckles faked his death. Wild Knuckles was my favorite villain, but I'm going to make you proud because you taught me what matters. You can't do anything alone. I will lead a good and honest life. You're alive? You just blew my mind! How did you do that? He and Gru later drive off with the minions in a mid credit scene. Gru attempts to hire Dr. Nefario in gratitude for an invention of his that helped him steal the stone. Nefario initially declines but changes his mind after Gru and the minions beg giving them a ride on a rocket-powered aircraft.